In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a rotary switch for Flight Simulator Home Cockpit. So this is the switch that I have. This is a rotary switch. It has 12 points, so you can rotate it around 12 times. For this um, particular switch, I'm just going to need it to rotate to one point. So the switch comes with this washer here with this little prong on there. And it can ins insert into these slots here and stop the switch from... Well, have the switch make only a certain amount of turns that you want it to make. So I just wanted to turn once. So I already figured it out if I put it in this number two slot here. It would only turn once. So if you want to see details on how I built the circuit, um, check out my other video on toggle switches. Um, I have a nice detailed instruction on how I soldered everything and put everything together. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to go through it very quickly. So now real quick, let me show you what I'm going to do. So the center pole of the, of the rotary switch, the center pole, this is the back of the switch, goes to the positive point on the capacitor. Now one of the positive ends of your power supply goes to one of the ends of the switches. Well, the switching points on the switch. Now you also want to connect ground to your other switching point. And then one more ground goes to the other end of the relay. And now the switching part of the relay hooks up to your keyboard. You can see more details in this in my other video, the toggle switch video. So that's it. I mean, it's simple once you get the hang of it. So now let's solder all these wires in place. Um, I screwed my um, piece into a piece of board to, to help me hold it because it was a pain trying to solder in it, solder it without it being stable. So now let's connect everything up to the relay and keyboard and see how well it works. So the center pole, which is the blue wire, is going to go to the capacitor right here, center pole capacitor on the relay. I'm just doing a temporary. So. so now one of the points here on the toggle switch, I'm sorry, not the toggle switch, on the rotary switch goes to the ground, which ground here is this orange lead on the relay here. And now this green wire is going to hook up to the positive source. So now connecting this up to the keyboard, I connect, uh, I set the settings on Flight Simulator so that um, the number six button on the keyboard will toggle the engine start switch so I'm going to connect these keyboard leads right here from the relay to the two wires from a keyboard emulator that corresponds to the number six key on the keyboard okay now let's see this work this is the overhead panel this is the engine starter switch for the left engine for the number one engine and this is the, the rotary switch that I built. So let's turn the switch on. Here we go. Now let's turn it off. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, check out my other videos. And the more you guys reply, the more, more videos I make. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you.